later. Who wants filet mignon, y'all? <laughs> We've got some water in here. <laughs> it's H-E-B steaks, steaks from H-E-B. Salt and pepper, bullet, big noms. <laughs> Delicioso, muy rica, sabrosa. way to say filet mignon right is it French I don't know whatever so cute and then we're gonna make a steak of war sauce wait what am I talking about I don't know <laughs> a wine sauce and it's going to have heavy cream in it butter shallots and a little bit of ghetto red wine <laughs> we're going hood on the wine I was like why am I gonna buy like a I'm not a wine drinker. I'm a, I'm, I, I drink hard liquor, so why, you know, why buy like a $15 bottle of wine or $10 bottle of wine, you know? It's like, go with Sutter home. <laughs> it's a good deal. This is one of the favorites in my house. Um, cameraman loves tacos. He loves his his uh, Americanized Tex-Mex tacos. Um, my family also likes queso. I'm not a big fan, but they do. Um, and yeah, so they like tacos and steak of war and, and I just like steak with the wine sauce and stuff. And I actually tricked one of my daughters this morning. I, was, I mean, this afternoon, I was like, oh, what do you want, tacos or steak? And she's like, steak. I was like, oh, I thought you'd say tacos. And <laughs> she got all sad. I was like, I'm just kidding. She's like, oh. <laughs> it's a big treat. Because my gosh, man, filet mignon, these is pricey, y'all. They're expensive. So, you know, just keeping it real. Miss Rip, please paint a picture of me. I look <laughs> just like the tree. <laughs> okay, well, you got to send me a pic first, you send. <laughs> Oh my goodness, that's funny. <laughs> I'll paint a picture of you. I'm so tired of painting myself. It's kind of sad. I'm like, I, I, I keep asking my friends. I'm like, I've got this really hot friend. Heidi, what's up? All my friends are hi hot. Kelly, Kimmy, Afton, but there's no way in hell that they would give me nudes. And so I'm like, Heidi, come on, man. Give me some nudes. <laughs> she just laughs. She doesn't send them. Anyways. <laughs> So I'm always like painting myself and it gets kind of, you know, like, okay, it's me again. I look so conceited and <laughs> full of myself, but in reality, just no one will pose for me. What's up? Come on, ladies. Do you send? <laughs> that means send me nudes, just in case you don't know the high school lingo. Just keeping you up to date, keeping you cool, keeping you hip. I always, I, I get kept hip, you know, right now it's, oh, that's a rip. Like R.I.P. That's a rip. And uh, <laughs> what's the other one? Who's that? Oh, that's rough. That's rough. It's oof. That's rip. That's a rip, and that's rough. You know, it's it changes all the time. So you gotta keep to keep up. You gotta have the teenagers, man, or you just fall out of the loop. Little kids don't do it. It's gotta be the teens, the teenagers. So how can you tell when the fillet is ready? Okay. So how do you tell when the fillet is ready? All right, y'all. So I'm a pro. Actually, I'm gonna toot my own horn. Beep beep. I'm gonna flex right now. Um, <laughs> I'm stunting. Um, so basically, there's like a. Oh gosh, there's like a. You feel it. You feel it, y'all. You just kind of press on it, and if it's like squish, like um, like a booty, <laughs> it's already. It's gotta be kind of like firm, like like a booty that exercises at the gym. But like, you know, between the two, I don't know. What am I talking about? <laughs> Trying to describe. You push it with your, you know, you touch it with your, those. These are pinchers. They're, yep, tongs. tongs. <laughs> They're pinzas, right? I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say, y'all. I don't speak no English. 
So what else do we have tonight? All right, what else are we have tonight? Actually, we are making mashed potatoes because um, my British babe, my cameraman, he's a uh, big potato, steak and potato, meat and potato guy. So we're gonna get that rolling. It's rolling. Sorry. <laughs> How am I doing this one <laughs> in front of everybody? Okay, well, hopefully the, uh, yeah. And I use Yukon Gold potatoes. I actually took the skins off. I, um, I usually don't do that, but this time I did to be all fancy for y'all. <laughs> or actually fancy for my family more because my daughter, one of my daughters is like, Oh, there's skins on it. She doesn't like it, so. I've got very picky people in my house, <laughs> so I have to make sure that everybody's happy. It's super easy and awesome. <laughs> it's extremely difficult at times. But anyways, you can't please everyone, and yeah. But you know what? My eldest daughter, she's, uh, she's converted. She actually likes tacos now. <laughs> I'm like, oh, really? She's, you know, she's pretty critical of me. Be like, mm, I don't know, it's not up to par, but anyways, <laughs> now she's like, I like your tacos. I'm like, what happened? I don't know. What are you going on and on about? I don't know. What else is in the oven? What else is in the oven? Okay, well, hold up, let me flip my bad boy over here, right? Like that. Okay. So, I've got roasted carrots. We've got roasted carrots. I put some shallots in there. They're ready to go, so I'm keeping them all warm. I don't want to have to like do too many things in front of y'all. Cause it gets kind of crazy. Um, and then we got our um, roasted tomatoes. I sliced tomatoes. Um, tomatoes on the vine are the best. And uh, and they're organic. Woo -woo. <laughs> and just like douse them with olive oil and salt and pepper. And I use kosher salt because that's the way I roll. So. <laughs> but yeah. The magic is in the sauce, honestly. Because you can like do so much with the sauce. Like the sauce makes the mashed potatoes delicious. It makes, I mean, it's just, it's amazing. It's, it's, how can you go wrong? Red wine, cream, salt, pepper, shallots. That's a recipe for like, just pure deliciousness. Just saying. I was thinking about making banana foster for y'all, but, um, cameraman's like, no, <laughs> that'd be too full. <laughs> Cause everyone likes to pick out on the steak, so. It's so weird too because I don't usually pick out on the steak. Everybody else does, but um, I feel like once you've been smelling it for a good long while, you just like you feel you feel like you've already eaten it. And I've heard that's like pretty common for like cooks or chefs or whatever. They're just like after you smell it for like so long, you're like I'm good, I'm full. <laughs> no. I need to grab a plate. Exercise butt firmness. <laughs> I don't know how else to describe it. That one's not. Someone's saying, where did the carrot peel segment go? Carrot peel segment? They missed the part of you peeling the carrots. Oh, I didn't peel the carrots. I bought them already peeled. I totally cheaped out. I totally, I skipped the step, you know? That's naughty. But, you know, when you have, like, a gang of, people in your family, you just kind of have to skip the steps you can, and you can already buy them, like, peeled and whatever, so, you know? Is it interesting watching me make <laughs> dinner? <laughs> or is it so weird? This was my crazy idea, and cameraman was like, that's cool, whatever you want, babe. And I'm like, I don't know. Well, it's live, you know, I don't think it's very live. Much it's live. <laughs> it's weird. Yeah, but I thought it'd be fun. Saying hungry in California. Hungry in California, huh? What time is it there? It's 7 30. Is it dinner time? Is it Miller time? I'm not a big beer drinker, man. I don't know. Well, my friends like are like, I want a, you know, Miller or something. I'm like, all right, you must already be really wasted. <laughs> I'm kidding. I love Miller. Woohoo! <laughs> Wait till you see the sauce, bro. It's so good. The sauce makes, that's where the magic's at. 
and then you're supposed to let your steak sit, which is like always a good idea. I'm not really sure why. <laughs> I guess because it like keeps cooking and comes to the like right perfectionness of uh, being able to be sliced. So that's good. So here we got our just did yoga, just did a uh, exercise. See that? Like she's, her butt is firm. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm such a pervert. I can't help it. I come from a long line of perverts. Thanks, Uncle Jay and Mom. <laughs> yeah, my family, they're all perverted. And they all have really bad potty mouths, so... It's not only me. It's not like I just, you know, dropped off... I'm not the apple that dropped off a tree that didn't have a tree. <laughs> what are you saying? I don't know. Okay, that's what happens when you had uh, some of this set her home. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Who likes bottled wine out there, y'all? Bottled wine. Who likes boxed wine out there, y'all? Give me a whoop whoop. Give me a, hit me up. Who likes boxed wine? My dad used to like boxed wine. That's like straight, straight out of the hood. That's like white trash, ghetto, boxed wine. <laughs> You go to the RV park, you chill with your friends, campsite, box wine, get all liquored up. <laughs> so is everyone done with their Christmas shopping? Hmm? Are you? Well, you should be. I'm not. <laughs> I'm so not. It's kind of sad. What kind of taters are we got? Oh, what kind of taters? We're gonna do mashed potatoes. I'm just—I don't want to neglect. I don't want to neglect my uh, steaks over here because then they'll be sad, and uh, that's no good. Nobody wants a tough steak. And nobody wants—not in my family. They don't want no raw steak. <laughs> I just totally talked that up. They don't want no raw steak, y'all. My daughter, she talks like that. Yeah, it's her boyfriend's family's fault. <laughs> I'm totally blaming them. She didn't used to talk like, he ain't got no. I'm like, oh my gosh, what the heck happened? Anyways, keeping it hood over here. White country hood. It's so funny, I was listening to a Christmas song today, and it was like, usually it's like something something in the city, like it's Christmas time in the city, <laughs> and they changed it to it's Christmas time in the country, and <laughs> I started rolling. I don't know why that's funny to me, but it is. <laughs> Whenever I used to read that book, you know, that story, that country mouse, city mouse, I always felt bad for the city mouse. Isn't that weird? I was like, I was like, oh, he needs to go to the country. He didn't want to leave, right, after he went to the country? I don't blame him. I mean, the city's fun to visit, but I don't know. I guess I'm just a country girl, so the city, like, full-time sounds not fun. When I go to the city, I'm like, I'm going to the city, y'all. <laughs> I'm a nerd. See me in full nerd. My poor potatoes are being neglected. And then I like to cut my steak for my family because I'm a nerd and they don't mind it. <laughs> like, it's like their mom. Um, I'm like, oh, I'll cut your steak. So I cut it before I actually serve it to them and put the sauce on it. I'm going to take this guy off the heat for a sec while I prepare the potatoes. Boop, don't look. <laughs> don't look at how much butter I'm putting in. Not very much at all. Don't worry. I, we're healthy in this house. <laughs> I'm going to get more butter. Who's ever seen these, y'all? Has anyone ever seen these before? Aren't they fun? Are you calling me a cracker? Man, this messed up. You're a cracker too. <laughs> Anyways, it's this fun little doohickey. I think it's from England, right? Is it from England? Yeah. Because I had a step grandma and she was from England. And she'd be like, hello. And we'd have to pull these things. And I was like, when I was a kid, whatever. And also, cameraman, duh, is from England. So, got to keep it like, you know, we're cool. We love England. So, anyway, so. What you do is you pull this little thing inside, right? And my um, British accent is really S-H-I-P. 
tea, rhymes with pee, but it's really a tea. Anyways, um, so I, I, I like to do that, and my, my mother-in-law probably thinks it's so annoying. Sorry, Mom. <laughs> but anyway, so you pull the little thingy inside, and then you go, you want me to do one? Should I do one? Okay, okay ready? So there's a little... This is like, I don't know, I guess it's for like rich folks, right? This wasn't rich. This, I got this at Marshall's because I'm ghetto. But um, my grandma, she used to get these. Anyways, so ready? Okay, ready? Oof. There's a pom-pom. What do we get inside? Usually you get a goofy hat, which is really lame. <laughs> and usually people wear them. The hat's right here. Oh, no, this is the hat? No, this is the hat. Oh, did I get a tattoo? Oh, sweet. I got a mustache. That's what every little girl dreams of. <laughs> Who wants a mustache? <laughs> Not me. <laughs> Should I pretend? Beep boop. I'll save that for one of my kids. Should I put on the hat? See, like, so you're supposed to put on the hat once you crack your cracker. Maybe it's for only like the winner, because when you pull it, like half goes to one person and half goes to the other, because you're like, you know, you're usually like fighting a sibling or a friend, and then you like put on your goofy hat like this. Ta-da! And like you're the winner and you got the prize because the other person got ASS out. Oh well. <laughs> okay, back to mashed potatoes. Stop distracting me, y'all. Dang it. I'm just trying to mash my potatoes over here. And this is not my favorite masher. <laughs> it's so not AMS AMSR. ASMR. I used to have this little Cuisinart dingy dingy where you'd like put the little blade in, like plugged it in, and then it would go like a little like hand mixer thingy. But I used to use it with my baby cows and I'd use it to like stir their formula. So I don't know where it is now. <laughs> I think it's in my Scooby Doo shed that y'all were supposed to be watching, but nobody watched or no one told me if they saw anything strange or suspicious. I know I saw Moose Man, that's all I know. I saw Moose Man. But he wasn't in the Scooby Doo. He was in the Oh, okay, well, there was a shadow on the forest. I don't really want to talk too loud in case like little ears can hear me, but that's how I get my son to like help me with chores at night. Because I tell him like Moose Man might get me or an alien. <laughs> no, I mean no, some people might not know that you're talking about the live stream you did. Oh, it was a, I'm talking about the live stream I did, like but it was all wonky because um, because we live in the country, y'all. Um, the Wi-Fi was just like, or the connection was just poop outside. So, unfortunately, kind of like ruined the. <laughs> You're so noisy. This is like a squeaking bed. What? Um. I'm really five years old, I'm not an adult at all. Oh, Aura wants to talk too. Okay, wait, uh, yeah, okay. I'm gonna, wee, get some milk, yummy. <laughs> I'm sorry, this mashed potato masher thing is like so annoying. Can you just turn him down? <laughs> this is a really good workout. Some people do like, you know, reps of whatever, like lifting weights, and I just kind of mash potatoes. Yes. <laughs> no, I lift, I lift feed bags and hay, and then I get hay all down everywhere on the planet Earth. <laughs> I seriously like me and uh, and if it's if it's under 50 degrees y'all I'm wearing a snowsuit seriously like I will go to like softball practices or whatever and so parents will look at me like because we coach softball and they'll look at me like this you're wearing a bib <laughs> I'm like well yeah it's 45 duh <laughs> I'm in Texas I don't like the cold I would rather lie on like 110 degree like black asphalt than like deal with freaking cold. And I'm not the only one. I've gone to Tractor Supply and there was this guy and he was like, he was my bro. I didn't really know him at all, but he also had like a Carthart bib, like a Carthart like snow 
Anywho, he was like, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna just be like not wearing a bib if, if it's cold outside. And I'm like, amen, brother. <laughs> okay, so the mashed potatoes, I'm gonna add some salt and pepper. And then we're gonna make our sauce and we're ready to go. Hey, what's up, Jacob? What's up, Jacob? <laughs> What did Jacob do? He said, can I get a shout out? <laughs> That's funny. What are you eating for dinner tonight, Jacob? <laughs> are you eating squeaky potatoes? Like we are? Chunky, but we're not gonna we're not gonna uh, mix it right now, all right? Because we gotta move on to our sauce, y'all. Ooh, what was that? <laughs> that doesn't fit. <laughs> it's the Brittany hour. <laughs> Let's see how gooby she can be. Okay, well, good buddy. I don't know. I guess I'm gonna use a plate right now because. I don't want to like kill all our friends from. You know, when you can't put the lid to a pot, all else fails, just use a plate. Unless if the plate doesn't fit. <laughs> Yay! See, I planned that. Okay. So now we're going to put it back on here. We got our butter and gummy juices left over. And we're going to saute up our little shallots here, right quick. After I turn back on the stove. Doesn't that look delicioso? Doesn't that look delicious? You got your sutter home. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay, no, I'm gonna put it up. I don't drink alcohol. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm Amish. Wait, no, wait, that's not true. <laughs> Do Amish people drink? I don't know. Okay. Well, today, Junior. T -t 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 Today, Junior. <laughs> okay, we don't have to concentrate on that right now. Okay, wait, so we got that. We got that. Let's see. Let's see what, how our tomatoes are doing. Our tomatoes, because my grandmommy, my grandmommy was from Jersey. So I say potato and winda on accident sometimes. So whoop whoop to the New Jersey folks out there. <laughs> and then my grandfather was from Massachusetts. So we got all those. Where your grandparents are from, okay? Okay, y'all. <laughs> but I had like great great grandparents, and they lived in Tennessee and all sorts, so you know, some are from the south, and the other half from the north. What can you do? I think I told y'all I had a I had a Mexican grandma, and uh, my great grandma, she was a she was a bandita. She actually robbed the uh, vaquero, she robbed the uh, cowboys in the mountains. Um, she uh, had babies and or she had kids from this guy that she was married to from Spain and I don't know what happened but she needed money so she falls out she went and robbed all the cowboys in the mountains <laughs> hey man I give her mad props I don't know. I I'm gonna I can't be mad at that you know you gotta feed your kids I'm not endorsing like crime or whatever I'm just saying like this is back in the day man like 1800s well late 1800s I don't know. Anywho, so now we have our shallots all uh, sauteed and beautiful. It looks a little okay though. I'm very sorry for this. Um, I am just kind of, kind of going on from two. We are not editing this. This is live. <laughs> Real life, y'all. Okay, so add a little wine there. Maybe a lot of wine. We're supposed to boil it down, let it simmer for a little bit there. And then you add your cream, like last minute. You could add some parsley, some chives. You can get creative if you wanted, but and like I told you, I have a I have a, I have a British guy in my family, <laughs> my husband. So uh, I just kind of go like meat and potatoes, plain. Can't can't go wrong, right? 
It's like bananas foster. Who likes bananas foster? <laughs> I don't actually know where that came from. Is that a French thing? Probably the French. They come up with all the good food. Hence, my name is Brittany from France. My mom named me after the province of France. Well, kind of. My dad, my dad liked Britt Eklund. She he, she was a Bond chick in Goldfinger. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, she's pretty hot. But um, <laughs> dad taught me how to appreciate women. <laughs> oh, God rest his soul. <laughs> but anyways, um, yeah. Um, so I was named after Britt Eklund, and my mom was like, oh. my mom was like. Let's make her name longer. So Brittany it was. She loves French and she knows to speak it, so there you go. Alright, this is smelling really good, y'all. <laughs> you gotta stick your face in it. <laughs> it smells so good. Okay. I'm gonna have to sign off, y'all. It's it's dinner time. <laughs> And it's late. <laughs> I'm gonna have to wake one of my kids up. Like, come on, steak's ready, sorry. <laughs> All right, I think we're good here. A little cream, can't go wrong with a little more cream. I think we're good. Let it simmer a little bit. Don't tell anyone how much cream you put in. Shh, it's totally low fat, don't worry about it. Low cow, low fat, you don't worry. It's all good. <laughs> Before we go, we get to see how you can. Come here, Danny. Here. You want to go in the pot? Just kidding. Okay. <laughs> she kicks my face. All right, y'all. Well, we're ready to eat dinner. So I've got to sign off. And uh, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time. Who knows? Could be tomorrow. Could be the next day. <laughs> see you later.